Temple Bar Dublin, let's show you inside some of the iconic pubs. This district is a tourist melting pot and worth visiting if you don't mind high prices for alcohol. The most expensive pint we ever ordered coming up. See if you can guess the price of a pint. We will let you know at the end. Starting off at the Parliament Street end, we have Fitzsimons, which is a great music venue. It's a late Friday afternoon when weekend parties arrive. The cobbled streets are not good for high heels. Just remember that it's a sneaker kind of night. There's loads of people about and a few carryouts doing a good trade. This area is aimed at tourists, but you do get a few locals as well. The first pub is the Owled Dubliner, a traditional pub with music. And across the street, the Oliver St. John Gogarty, named after the distinguished Irish poet born in 1878. It's one of the stopping points for taking a horse and carriage ride. Inside the pub is full of memorabilia of old Dublin hanging from the ceiling. Tables sitting outside and a restaurant and bar with food, a meeting place for many. Every language in the world is right here. This is the second floor bar and restaurant with the more formal restaurant on the upper floor. Food is good and is average in price for central Dublin. No expense spared in fitting out and the Guinness was quite decent too. This is the man himself, a poet, a sportsman and a politician. Traditional music will be playing on two floors till 2 a.m. and sometimes you will be lucky and have some Irish dancers in as well. Then we popped into the Temple Bar pub, packed as always where traditional music is always playing. It's one place that you need to get into early, as you can see. If you want a decent seat, that is, we didn't stay too long. Bear in mind, this is a Friday evening around 5.30, and this particular pub will be like this until 2 a.m. Further up Fleet Street, you have the Hard Rock Cafe and Thunder Road. And by the way, if you are enjoying our content, please follow and hit the bell. It helps us to grow and encourages us to create more content. Thank you. Then the Morgan Hotel, which is a really good hotel, as is the Temple Bar Hotel further up the street towards Westmoreland Street. Finally, we come to the last pub on the street, the Palace Bar. That's our walk through Temple Bar. We hope you enjoyed it. Finally, the most expensive pint of Guinness we have ever bought in our lives was €9.95 in Oliver St. John Gogarty's. Did you guess it? Thanks for watching. We hope you will join us in the next one. Take care till then.